Okay, yeah, good day. So welcome to Explanatory Solution to IGCSE ICT May June 2017 paper 21. I promise you that it's going to be very interesting. Don't be afraid, you will be able to solve the problems perfectly, flawlessly at the end of the day. So I may be slow sometimes. I want you to understand everything and to know the reasons why some things are being done. So it's going to be step by step. It's going to be systematic and expository as you go through it little by little. Feel free to make mistakes and I'll be showing you some tips and explaining why students miss marks unnecessarily. So you can note those things and perfect everything at the end of the day. I may not be able to read the questions word for word, endeavor to go through it. So you work for a company called Tawara, blah, 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 blah. Task one, open the file j217evidence.rtf. So I'll be using these as my word document software. That is Microsoft Word 20. 16 okay um okay um desktop i have all my files saved here okay and has to open this in rtf don't forget that rtf stands for rich test format and it's a generic file format for word documents so that is rtf so any word document software and open that. Make sure your name, blah, 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 will appear on every page of your evidence document. This can be achieved through EDA or FUTA. Your name, that's my name now, SO Ajala, NG 077, NG represent Nigeria, 077 is my own fictitious number. Okay, because I love perfection, and 7 is the number for perfection, so triple 7. Thank you. Save this as a word process document in your work area with the file name J217 Evidence followed by your candidate number. My work area is the folder that I open that save as my work area is this J217 blah blah blah. My candidate number 077. Okay. As a word process document, please don't neglect that. So this is a word process document dot d o c x okay i'm all right with that i know what i'm doing okay so that is done you will need the evidence document doing there's anything blah 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 i will need it to school to show screenshot and every other thing i know that okay task two now document you are going to edit blah 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 they come using a corporate house style for all their documents okay i'll be telling you the meaning of corporate house style as we continue, paragraph style should be blah 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 using a suitable software pack. Open the file j217 brochure.rtf. Okay, control O to open, um, and I'm going to browse to my doc, um, to my work area, and I'm opening this. Okay, it's opened already. Okay, I want it to be zoomed 100%. Okay, I have that. Do not change the paper size, orientation, or margin settings. Save the document in your work area with the file name TSS leaflet. Make sure it is saved in the format of the software you are using. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Save as. I can change the name, the default name, or the name that it was saved before. So TSS leaflets or caps in the documents of the software I'm using that dot docx make sure it is saved in the format of the software you are using so save save okay so evidence one place in your screen evidence document screenshot to show this has been saved now students make this mistake Okay, let me simulate the mistake. Um, and then they will show this as evidence document. No, this is not what you are supposed to show. Show that it has been 
saved. That means after saving it, now go to your work area. So this is it showing that it has been saved. So take evidence of this. You could do this, take this too. So this shows that it has been saved. Sometimes they ask you to show all these details, the type, the size, blah, blah, blah. So that has been taken care of. Evidence one, paste still there, control V. So that is done. Okay. Oh, let's proceed. Place in the header of the, of the file TSS leaflet your name. Okay, the header. The header, I come to insert header. I said, um, header. And that look fast fast ah there's no time to waste okay your name center and account number left align three of them this is my left as you are seated before the computer your left is this first one this is the center and this is your right all right so this is left cancel that your name candidate center number candidate number all of them left aligned automated page numbers right aligned so this is right anything in the middle nothing in the middle middle get out so this automated page number right aligned i go to quick parts please let me go to quick part page number right aligned okay this is showing so toggle field code so i have the number again place in the footer the automatic file name and path right aligned so i go to footer okay three columns again i don't need this i don't need this okay automated file path name field quick path field file name f file name add path to file name Okay, I have this. Okay, this is showing the field code is showing toggle to show the actual thing. Okay, control shift less than so I have this so it shows everything right aligned. Okay, that's automated file name right aligned. Okay, let's try and make it okay now. Control Z, control A, everything there. Let's make it bigger. Okay, it's all right. Okay, control shift less than to make it smaller. Control shift greater than to make it bigger until it fits in. So that is all right. Thank you. Okay, make sure that all the alignment match. Okay, all of them, everything there, they are correct and they have been observed. So if you look at all the pages, the Candidate number, all those details you show in all the pages. Okay. Okay, create the, the following paragraph styles. Okay, for all of this, I want to take all of this first and apply normal to all of them. Yes. Normal to all of them or normal to all of them okay i'm looking for so this one clear all formatting this is what i'm actually looking for clear all formatting okay so none of them has any formatting now so that will actually help me to apply my formatting without any error okay create the following paragraph styles our style specifications now what is the essence of our style specifications they are used to ensure consistency in your document. Remember the layers of a website. One of them is presentation layer. And we use CSS, cascading style sheet, for presentation layer. What does it do? It ensures consistency of formatting in all your website. The same thing, our site applications they ensure consistency of formatting in all your documents so if your company 
maybe your letter added paper or your anything your email once they see they know that oh this is for company a this is for company b because of your outside specifications that's why you have logos you have colors you have different things known for specific companies so that's the essence of our style specifications because IGCS can ask you what does it mean or explain what it means. So we're going to create that now in Word document. Follow me step by step. Feel free to make mistakes. You will get it done later. Okay. Now TSS title. Follow everything the way it is. So we have the different styles here. That uh, the, this uh, style is from Microsoft Word, but we need our own. So I'm going to click on that little arrow and I click on create a style. TSS, all caps, please follow the, whether it is small cap or big capital letters, as the case may be, follow them religiously because. IGCS is all about perfection. They talk about 100% accurate data hunt entry, not even 99.9%, 100%. So TSS, all caps, title, small letters, please feel free to go back and forth to ensure that everything is done correctly. Okay, modify serif. Times New Roman is an example of serif. I love Times New Roman. I don't need to crack my brains. 24 points. Times New Roman is an example of serif. Area is an example of sans serif. 24 point font. That's 24 point here. Center. So there's a center here. Center. Bold or caps. Bold. How do you get all caps? Okay. All caps. You may need to take some buses before you get to all caps. But don't worry. You're not going to take physical buses. Just come to formats as boss one, font boss two, all caps. So see all caps here, all caps. You see everything change, all caps. Okay, all bold, all capitals, single zero one one. So that is done. All caps done. Single zero one one format again. Paragraph, single here, spacing before zero after. 11 okay oh great single zero one one that is done check again serif 24 bold all cap centered single one one okay center okay can i proceed yes proceed okay that is done normal okay so that is done the second one Create a star TSS subtitle TSS dash subtitle. Okay, serif. Okay, modify Times New Roman again. System points bold. Anything bold? Nothing is bold there. Okay, right aligned. Italic single zero zero italic single zero zero that is the setting by default S times to sixteen italic right single zero zero okay TSS subtitle go back to normal okay the third one create a star TSS sub ed TSS sub ed modify serif times new roman 14 centered centered fourteen centered fourteen italic underline single italic underline single zero one one okay format paragraph Single zero eleven after okay, that is done. All correct back to normal. Next, create a star 
CSS body. Modify sans serif the class area 11 justified this is justified non zero single zero one one formats paragraph single zero eleven after body body is done okay sans serif CSS table Oh my father, TSS table. We are marching forward. We are marching forward. Yes. Sans serif. Area is sans serif. 11. Left. Left. Non single zero zero. Oh, that's great. That's so simple. For table. Thank you, table, for not stressing us. Unnecessarily okay. Evidence to place in your evidence document screenshot to show all the settings for the TSS subhead. So I go to TSS subhead here. I say modify so I can see all the settings. Ensure subhead serif 14. So serif 14 center center is there. Italic underlined, italic underlined, single zero one one, single zero one one. Okay, I have this. They say screenshots or screenshots. So I have screenshots. Screenshot, print screen. Just need these two. Okay. 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 Thank you. Evidence three. Not evidence two. Screenshot, they're there. Okay, you can do this to, to make it bigger so you can see it and appreciate it. Okay, so that's done. Thank you. Back to normal. I don't need it now. Okay, so we have created all the house style specifications. Three marks. Just, just like that. Three marks. Three bonus marks. Okay. Now apply the TSS title style to the Tawara Summer Schools at the start of the document. Okay, Tawara Summer School. They, they say this one is for type two. Where is type two? Type two. Oh, it's, it's, can see you there. Yeah. Okay. Enter. Produced by. Produced by. By everything you show you all caps. I'm not typing everything in all caps. I just use. I type the first P as all caps. But because it's inheriting this specification, that's why it's showing like that. But you're going to see what will happen later and had your name produced by s dot o all caps from what i'm writing a cap or capital letter then the rest small okay so you will see that i was saying the truth so let's copy this apply the tss subtitle style to this sub title can you see so produced by this okay times new roman 16 italic subtitle times new roman 16 right italic single zero zero so you can say 16 times new roman italic right oh perfect okay that is done apply the tss subtitle side to this test apply the tss body to the rest of the document so the rest of the document you don't need to start so click and start dragging down just come here you have how many minutes to do the exam two and a half hours for so many papers just to control shift and press that so it will select it from the point you are selecting to the end of the document so apply body apply tss body style to the rest of the document body okay let's cross check to ensure that it have been applied because sometimes it is stubborn it is not being applied okay thank you okay
sorry for the breaking transmission so we can continue now okay thank you um okay this is applied to the rest of the document change the page layer so that the international community are now following blah 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 okay from here downward control shift and control shift and where is columns okay on that layout you don't need to cram it you know it's in one of those menus more columns two one centimeter spacing oh you may need to cram it because of the theory in case they ask you how do you create columns you can say this this and that but that's not needed now okay one centimeter spacing that is done Identify the S subheadings in the document and apply the TSS sub S type to each one of them. So the subheadings number one subhead applied. Number two, ensure that there are eight so that you, <laughs> you don't lose any mark. If you apply it to seven, and you see I've tried. And you refuse to apply for the eighth one, you are going to lose marks for all of them. So take time to count that there are eight so that you don't lose any mark unnecessarily. All right, okay, seven, eight. Okay, I will still check. I will still check one, two, three, four, five six seven yeah eight that's good okay eight of them insert a row after history in the table okay where is the table see the table here the table is here but i want everything to be here so i'm going to do layouts pay column break so i have all my tables here the grid lines are not showing so i may be confused i'll just double click it so i have the design i click this to show all the grid lines what is your name again table grid everything is showing so i have all the columns and rows showing and then i need a row the row is, is the one that is horizontal wide columns are vertical so i have three columns column one column two column three and these are the rows so I'm inserting a row after this is a plus after the history. So I click there, I have a row here, and I'm going to put this literature. Okay, then I need this. So I'm going to copy this because of the symbol. I don't need to bother my head. How do I get that symbol? The computer. I'll just copy this and post it here and paste it here rather. Okay, but don't forget to modify it. 1120, 1120. Okay, and then 705, 705. Okay, that is done. Literature is done and is well done. And format the first row of the table to be bold and italic. So there's a first row. This is the first row, bold and italic. Bold, number one italic oh sorry i was using shortcut bold is control b italic is control i bold and italic center the line over the three columns so pick this column to this column right click merge cells center the line over that so center the line over the three columns shaded with a light gray background 20 to 40 centimeter okay see all the Everything about the table here, border and shading, blah blah blah. Shading, shading with what 20 to 25, 45 percent gray by default. Gray, okay, light, okay, gray, light gray background, light gray background. So, see, white background. So, this is gray background already. Don't confuse me. Okay, that's light gray background. Okay, make sure that the table field within the column width, the TSS table style is applied to rows two to eight of the table. So this is row two to eight of the table. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Row two to eight of the table. Okay. There are rows two to eight of the table. Okay, TSS table applied. So that's TSS, TSS table being applied. All tests in column one displays on one line. So this is column one. We need all the tests to be on one line. As no test wrapping as much as possible. Okay, so that bring this close up this. Oh, perfect. So that's fit within the column margin. All internal grid lines are displayed when printed. So these are the green lines, the lines inside and outside, and they are showing. So when you print them, they will surely show nothing will happen to them. Okay. So 12 done using the data in the file blah 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 create a vertical bar chart okay excel I will need your work okay control O to go and open that browse to where it is on my desktop um just showing the nationalities nationalities where are you okay dot csv showing the showing the um um the body here, the body here is area 11. So permit me to pick area to change this to area and 11. Okay, so I have this. So when I import or export, as the case may be, the the chart is going to is going to be the same thing as the body of the body specifications the outside specification for this document which is area 11 justified area 11 justified so that is not needed so this is area 11 so i need the chart a vertical bar chart to show the number of students from each country for the year 2016 so the year 2016 so these are the countries. So I'm going to select this, then click on hold the control key, select this. You hold the control key when you are selecting these contiguous cells. For example, if these are contiguous or continuous cells, you don't need anything for that. But if I'm selecting this, and I want to select this, I hold the control key. So these are selected. And you have to start from the Australia to USA and then you start from the corresponding numbers here not from here and here because we are not plotting 2016 we are plotting this against this as the case may be thank you so inserts recommended chart vertical this is vertical this is horizontal so I'm using vertical okay so this is done I have chart title here so I need a layout that will show me all the labelings possible. So I pick, which one did I pick again? Okay, layout 9 is picked. So I have everything that I need there. Label the chart with the title, student, nationality. So I change this to student. Is it student or student? student okay without an s please cross check so that you don't lose unnecessary marks in nationality label the category axis with the title country so common sense say this is country and then you're not told for anything for this but this is number of students 
ensure you label your chart adequately even when you are not told you must do that it is sacrosanct for you to do that do not display a legend so legend series one i don't need you delete it and delete pam is gone format the value axis scale to display a maximum value of 1200 increment of 300 how do you do that so i come here click on these values right click then format axis maximum of what 1200 1200 you can see 1000 here she changed the 1200 but look at the increment 200 400 600, 200 so i need unit major increment i need what do i need again i think it's 400 from the question cross check oh 300 can you see when you are in doubt please check there's no crime for checking if you miss it there is crime for that that, that is a crime criminal offense that will make you to lose your marks and you you lose money and you lose a lot of things so please take time to read the instructions okay so 0 300 600 900 1200 maximum that is done insert the chart after the paragraph and the student came from 2016 so click on the chart control c to copy okay where where is the place control f i don't want to start looking around like sheep that have no shepherd okay so i'm like students came uh, in the 2016 so this is where i'm going enter control v to paste the chart in okay so everything fit in this is okay everything is working perfectly area formats i don't know why it is stubborn area font again Area eleven. I want everything to be the same thing with the with the body here because I don't want it to lose any mark. The format was calibrated or area eleven, so I delete that and replace this. Okay, so this is good. Everything is working perfectly with consistency. Okay, so insert the chart. Make sure that the chart fits within the column width. Yes, that's that's correct. All data labels are displayed in full. Yes, everything is showing in full. Nothing is missing. Okay, import the image. Place this below the subheading language. Language requirement. Where is that? I don't want to start looking for it again. Like so language requirement looking for a missing pass i'm not going to do that okay so this is it here so i'm bringing in that guy to this point what's the what was the name of the guy again j217 dot jpg okay you're coming here and um, where can i get you insert pictures you should be there um desktop test 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 okay oh you are here okay reflect the image so it looks like this double click the image rotate flip horizontal so it's looking like that four centimeter wide aspect ratio maintain width So it's in centimeter already four centimeter aspect ratio maintain it's maintained like that top of the align the image to the 
top of the paragraph okay all those stories aligned using test wrap test square bus everything enters so it's well aligned to the top to the left make sure the test wraps around the image it may look like this yes spell check and proofread and all observe all these table is not split so we are going to start from the first page and ensure that no widow no orphan okay uh, something is happening here why this space okay just come here and then press um space bar oh sorry delete okay so delete key everything is up nothing is missing okay four three four lines okay that's not a widow or an orphan it's not two or three okay so that is done let's check our table anything missing okay nothing is missing okay let's see the requirements again the table is not split over two columns of pages okay in one column one page no widows or orphan are you a widow he said no i'm not i have a father i have an husband i have a wife ah see this one no family members so visas it do not cost me anything to take you to that point layout go colon break uh -huh. go and meet all your family members there okay and young man it doesn't cost me anything go and meet your family members on the other hand okay are using colon breaks okay resources okay that's done languages visas yeah everything is perfect now the mirror and graph has placed within okay spacing between all items is consistent yes save the document using the same file name and format using step one okay save print the documents okay make sure that you have entered her you must do this if not all your good works will just give you zero how to be very frank with you so ensure that your details appear on all the pages on all the pages let's look at them again and ensure that everything oh perfect okay so we're going to print it now print but can you see my printout you cannot see it so i'm going to print out using adobe pdf so you can see the way it's going to be printed adobe pdf print so you will see the way it will appear so print out so that is called print out one print out one save so it's simulating the printing but actually it's creating the the pdf so you will see the exact way it will look on paper i hope you can do this thing now step by step and get 29 over 29 that is flawless victory through this explanatory solution my name once again is S.O. Ajala. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. Up, you can do everything now, step by step. I wish you the very best in your IGCSE. Please share, subscribe. You can keep viewing this again and again. Thank you. God bless you. See you in the following questions. Thank you. Bye.
ഒറ്റ അപ്പോ